Hello. Today I will show you how I work with one hand. I set this thing right. I got a new phone, it's not working. So I have a nerve condition or a condition that affects my nervous system, either way. Um, and sometimes people ask, well, how do you sew or blah, 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 because my, it affects my vision, hearing, and my extremities. So today, I'm going to show you how I sew or do work with one hand. I got an injection yesterday, and I can actually touch it today. Yesterday, I could not do anything except sit down and moan and groan. I still have limited motion in it, but I can move my fingers a little bit today, slowly, but not a bunch. Um, so I'll show you how, I tried using the scissors because I'm ambidextrous, but the scissors would not cut. I just sewed this pocket and I have to um, cut off the excess and I'll show you how I use one hand to do work. If you hear noise outside, it's ringing. And keep in mind, my left hand is my bad hand. <laughs> so I have, I have, you see I've had the surgery here um, I don't have much strength in this hand, so holding this is, is I, I lack the strength to hold. It's not the blade, it's me. Which is why I was trying to use the scissors, but apparently the scissors was like, nah, yo, we don't want to participate. So I couldn't use that. And for the, the, the corner... I'm going to try to cut this as close as possible so it can flip over. Hope everyone's having a great day. But it's crazy because people see me in talking with the library today and they think that because I'm always smiling that I don't have problems. But I do. I just, I've learned to, I wouldn't say live with them. But I've learned to compensate for what I can compensate for and the things I can't compensate for, I have just stopped doing. So sometimes my customers are like, hey, I need whatever, whatever. And I was like, hey, didn't I tell you I had a migraine? You don't want me selling your stuff if I can't see. All right, so I have this done. Size. Let's see. Let's see me turn this through. I'm doing a video, so whatever you want, you can go ahead and do it yourself. That's Haven trying to get out of his schoolwork. Well, then you should know how you are possibly yeah. doing because you're supposed to check your own work. We yeah, talked about this last night. The video. Okay, then go turn it in like you're supposed to. Try so hard to get out of doing his classwork, he just does not want to do. Now, I got my fingers on this, but, but you best believe there is no hold in this right hand. I've been touching it, but it just hurts my wrist like the devil. Bum, 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 bum. Okay, so we've got it turned inside out. Pushing it through to make sure the corners go through. Pointy, pointy, pointy. And I didn't think about cutting the iron. I'm going to have to iron this, but I didn't think about doing that. Plus, you know, it's hard for me to go back and forth with um, moving this camera. This technology just does not like me, which I'm okay with because it's dealing with neutral. But I need it to actually work. Huh. So, uh, yeah, yeah. So I am going to iron this, 
and then I'll show you how I, 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 I top stitch it. This time, I'm actually going to pause the video because I didn't do that last time. Apparently, it's sick. All right. <clears throat> Come back. I have it ironed. And now I'm going to put it in. Oh, no. I must have did that. I cut that off. Hold up. I'm going to put it under the sewing machine. Okay, so this is not the foot I usually use. This is called an open something foot. Open edging foot or something. I, basically, it's an embroidery foot. Oh, you can call it the applique foot or an open something. Open edge, open wedge. Either way, I'm using that. As you can see. I have to remind myself don't use your right hand because it will hurt. Now, I was looking at something last night. Believe it or not. And they had a edging foot, which I know that I have. Because you know I have all these feet. Um, and I I never, I mean the things I use all the time like the ruffling foot, the walking foot, the applique foot, a normal straight stitch foot, stuff like that. I know the names of them because I use them the buttonhole. Um... This is a zipper foot, one of the types of zipper foot, uh, but they have, huh? I forgot what this is called, but they have the, um, a rolled hem foot, they have, uh, the invisible zipper foot, the, I don't know what's measuring foot, but they have, um, that's a straight stitch one, it's a ruffling foot, um, darning free, motion darning foot. They have these um, feet. This is cording foot. Uh, that have an, have an edge thing on it for edge stitching. And all that time I had it, this is it. Ha! And what it has on it is a knifey situation. Now my camera looks glared. It's not because it's puffed with something. It's because it's just dirty. But if you can look at that, you'll see it has a little knifey thing on it. That is for edging, edge stitching, I should say. So, I'm going to try it with fit because I usually don't use it. I have several of them, so y'all, if y'all know that they come in different sizes. Make sure my top thread goes under there. I've got my width on two, length on three, and I am happily... Screwing this up, trying to get this in there. Ah, went down the wrong side. All right. And here we go. Now, I know I just poked this out with that thing. It's been a day. A day. And I was like, should I wait another day? Should I wait another day? And I have a pants to him as well. But I'm not going to do that one because that one is a heavier pants. And so this, so you can see it as good as you can see it. I have set this right on the edge of that. Okay. This won't go closer, but. And I can't put it on the other side simply because I'm on that side. And I'm putting, I'm using my other hand on this wheel. You can see this hand's still here, but I'm turning this needle. God darn it. And then the thread happens. Don't you just love when that happens? I really don't. Ugh. I can't really pull it through. All right. Completely forgot about that. All righty. This is just why I cuss <laughs> in the sign room. Exactly why I cuss in the sign room. All right, let's see if we can get it through again. All right, so I gotta lift this up, bring it down some, and the needle 
the needle clears see my needle is clearing right where that is I can't get a needle closer okay well, I don't know will it go in like will it zoom no it doesn't zoom <sighs> I need a computer person about the one that's got fired so I need another computer person but if anyone's interested I need a computer person to do what y'all consider simple things that's not absolutely simple huh all right well, we're just gonna leave that thread out there because I'm not fighting with it and I'm not back stitching I'm just straight stitching and I actually like this because it keeps the edge on it and I don't have to fight even with the curve it just goes with it and it doesn't go under because that curvy thing is all the way down I mean the edging thing is all the way down. Oh, it's all the curvy thing. It's been a day. It really has been a day. I think I can go one more with it without going too much. And then Yes. I went like right at it, so I won't be too harsh on myself because going back and forth is a lot with one hand. Okay, so maybe, maybe, maybe that didn't work. All right. Okay, maybe that's not working again. Let's see why not. Now, oh, let me show you how I cut this. I gotta find my little snippet, snippet. Y'all gonna think this is weird, but I take this. Of course, my camera doesn't want to follow. I take my snippet, press it against this, and I snip. Is that not cool or what? All right, now let's see why the snippet didn't want to work. I mean, the foot didn't want to work. All right, let's go back up. It's so complicated. The same section. Not the best thing to do, but high power. I want to sing that Rihanna song. Why is everything with you so complicated? Something, 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 something. I just hate it. Oh, oh. Something, something, something. This is like a song for every word I can come up with. Alright. Snipping it. Y'all see me got my snippy game. Going on. Alright. And I just go right over the stitch that I already had. And I hold down. Hop. We're done. And I take it out again. Snip it, snip it, snip it. <sighs> I have found that even in the most troubling times, to have a prosperous attitude. And I said prosperous instead of a good attitude because I know sometimes good can be misconstrued with what's right, what's wrong, what's fair, and what's not. So I say prosperous because I want you to think about getting somewhere, moving forward. And the only way you can do that is through prosperity. Prosperity is more than just monetary stuff. I know people hear prosperity and think, ooh, somebody get money. No. Prosperity is more than just money. You can prosper in good health. You can prosper in good faith. Um, you can prosper in good thinking. So. I'm not thinking happy thoughts to like erase my problems or anything like that. And that's how you top stitch. We want to end. But I, I found that overstressing yourself 
not have this on YouTube on my channel, please go there, get the alterations and designs, and click and subscribe. Um, but I found that keeping things into a realistic um, place helps cut down on stress, um, reality, uh, any distortions of whatever you may have, and it just makes living a whole lot easier. As in, you are aware of what's going on, and you have not allowed your mind to go a place it shouldn't go. Because a lot of times, the, the majority of times, they were going to say 90 something percent of the times, we suffer uh, through mental mental torture as opposed to what's really going on in life with life. Um, there's a, a, a quote up there about, um, about that mental torture. So, yeah. It's not saying that you don't, you don't have a realistic goal or expectation or understanding of what's going on. It's just that, you know, you have, uh, under, better understanding of your situation so that you don't become a victim of your situation. Which is, is quite easy to do. Ah, crap. Now y'all see me stuck myself again. Which is quite easy when you have problems. And all of us have problems. But it is definitely how you deal with them that makes the difference. We are, uh, you know, I work from home. And, um, lots of I'm disabled. But I don't let those things stop me from being a person or feeling like a person because I have shortcomings. But I found that if you spend less time trying to be like other people and more times just being yourself, the majority of your problems can be more properly addressed and assessed. Uh, what did I do with that little thing now? without the complications of trying to be or conform to what everyone else around you is doing. It's it's hard enough trying to be yourself, being yourself, I should trying to be yourself. It's hard enough trying to be yourself and um, living. Uh, why add the unnecessary weight of trying to be someone else? I, I'm just, I'm not a, a, a believer in trying to be anyone else. It's my personal belief, so you don't have to agree with it or support it. It ain't going to change what I believe. But I, I've, I've found from counseling people that the majority of people's um, misery is from them wanting to be someone else. Why can't I have what I'm like, dude, I don't, I don't even know why you know what they have. And how do you know what you see is actually what they have? Like, I don't I don't get that. But that's what people spend their time focusing on and it's 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 unproductive. Now I'm not I'm not pushing it with hand, I'm using my left hand to push it in. I'm literally holding the pen with my right hand and then pushing through with my left hand. Okay, I don't want y'all to think, oh my god, so she said she couldn't yeah, I'm still just using the one hand. Um, happiness comes from within, from within. Understanding comes from within as well. Granted, it's through um, external experiences, but the understanding itself does come from within. I um, I've seen I've in my lifetime I've I have seen so many unhappy people, and I I just I refuse to allow their unhappiness to be a part of my life you know it's not it's not running away from people it's not running away from problems is it's accepting that you don't have to have y'all see me working and talking you don't have to have a negative experience with every problem i mean you really just don't you take it in stride, and then you go about your business. You, you you know, doing what you can do and staying in your own lane is so hard for so many people. I'm like, dude, 
but why are you in that lane? You don't even know how to do that. Like, but yeah, but I was thinking, yeah, maybe you, you should let go of thinking. Because it's not working out for you. That's just how I see it. We all want to be something. But not many people want to be just themselves. I, I don't get it, personally. I don't get it. I love me. I do. I love being who I am. Granted, I don't, I don't like my limitations, but it's what I got. It's what I got. What I got to work with. So, it's what I do. And I'm just going to pin the stuff on the top so you can continue to see how I work with my limitations. This is an, a little kid's apron. see the placement I could move the bottom one up some but I was like mm, I might actually move it up some I saw this one lady she's been working in the gas station since I've, I've, I've known her and met her and she only has one hand and not like I got two hands but she got one hand. She don't have no, no fingers or nothing on the other hand. And she's been cashiering and bagging and all that stuff. And I remember seeing her thinking to myself, God dang it. If, if anybody complains about something, they need to meet this woman. Because she is not letting anything stop her from doing what she's, she's doing. And I just, I found that so inspiring um, to just see you know, her still go with what she had. Doesn't make her less of a person. I mean, she was she was doing it up. I've seen the videos with the, the mothers and stuff that don't have lower extremities and stuff like that. And Or that one lady, she didn't have any extremities. She had a child, and she was getting the child ready for, for school and stuff. And I was like, this is insane. I don't think it's that safe, but... And I know people do videos for whatever, but she was she was doing what she needed to do. You take the positive, look at the negative, cuss at it, and go on about your business. <laughs> That's my actually my my um, solution to everything. Cuss at it and then go about your business. All right, so I'm gonna do 25 minutes. Probably end up they probably split this video. This is, I gotta finish sticking the other side of this. My wrist has started hurting a lot more, so I'm gonna put this down for a little bit. Cause y'all better hear me say some real, real good words. Put this down for a little bit. I got to filling up papers work today. On my left hand, and I was like, Oh my god, I got a cramp in my butt. And I just thought to myself, That is insane. Me trying to write with my bad hand, I was like, This is too much. I'm gonna put this down. All right, so what I'll do is I'll top stitch this, but I will top stitch this on the industrial machine which means I have to change the thread because I have green and yellow in there now. And um, then I will put these together, one behind the next. I thought about overlapping it, um, you know, like a front side together and then flipping it through, but I don't want to do that. So I'm just going to put it right behind the next because this needs to be lined. It's a little bit thin for my taste. And I will top stitch this with the my industrial sewing machine after I change the threads, both pockets, and then I will um, put this on the behind it, and then I will make the uh, I forget what you call it, like the the bias for the straps. 
the top I'm still deciding how I want the top to be because I think I want to fold it over so the straps will go around and make it adjustable and then I thought you know what I can also do the velcro straps so I can put velcro here and then let it the straps on the neck be velcro as well that way it can still be adjustable but it's velcro it's a thought in progress it's a thought in progress and then the bottom once the bottom is attached just fold it up crease it but I'll have <clears throat> um, the bias for all the sides and sometimes you can skip that if you put it together because you can fold them in and do it as well thank you for watching my video I just got over 25 minutes have a great day watch I can't stop this